So this is a video of me and my trips to Australia. I hope to continue this throughout my entire time in Australia. Um, so far it's been kind of hard to keep up with it, but that's because I'm new at recording things um, in my everyday life. And also it's kind of embarrassing to like talk to a camera in front of other people. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to keep my friends and family updated um, on what's going on in my life um, while I'm away. Uh, just so you guys can know for a fact that I am not kidnapped, murdered, so on and so forth. So I apologize for how gross I look in the rest of these videos. Again, traveling is probably not like the best. Um, when you travel, you don't normally look your best. So um, yeah, just wanted to say that before um, I show the rest of the videos. Um, I also wanted to kind of show you the hostel situation um, and what it looks like at the end of the videos. So, finally made it to SeaTac. Uh, now I'm bored. Not a whole lot to do here. I went shopping a little bit and ate a little bit and now I'm waiting for my flight to LA which should be in about 45 minutes or so and then it's on to Sydney. So I have finally made it to Sydney um, after an excruciatingly long flight um, and a ton of like really crazy mishaps pretty much anything that could go wrong did go wrong um so i guess i'll talk first about the bad stuff that happened so then we can end on a good note so the first thing that happened is straight off the bat um my flight was canceled in seattle uh to go to la um, and i had a connecting flight from la to sydney on virgin um australia but they fixed that pretty quickly, um, and they got me on a um, Qantas flight, which was really nice. Um, then, when I got to LA, finally, after waiting another four hours in the airport in Seattle, um, my flight to Sydney was delayed another two hours. So, then I hung out in the LA airport for a while, um, got on the flight, uh, and then when I got here, um, I waited in line for like two hours I, uh, for customs and all that stuff. Then I ended up um, not finding my baggage. Turns out they left my baggage in LA. So now all my baggage is in LA. Um, Qantas, fortunately, gave me um, some money to do some shopping with um, in the meantime and they said that they should have my baggage here um, by tomorrow or the next day but literally everything that could go wrong <laughs> did go wrong um, also my credit card didn't work but I just had to call my bank and figure that out so that wasn't that big of a deal um, so for the good stuff fortunately uh, the Qantas flight was actually really nice. Um, it was 14 hours, which is a long flight, um, but the seats were actually comfortable. They ended up leaving a seat. I asked them to leave a seat in between me and the person next to me, um, and that actually worked out really well. Um, I slept on the flight, which normally I can't sleep on flights. It's just something that, like, my body like just doesn't let me sleep on flights, but I'd had such a long day I'm sure that my body was like just sleep uh, so I slept on this flight um, and I had a really excellent partner that was next to me um, on the flight she was like around my age and we had a lot in common so um, for the first couple of hours we talked a lot and um, we had a good time um, so that was really nice uh, also let's see what else was nice about the, th the situation they fed us a lot um, and it was really decent food too so that was really nice um, I got the money for my baggage which was kind of nice but also kind of crappy because 
yeah, now I'm stuck here without my baggage. Fortunately, like all of my medicine and all of my um, toiletries are with me. It's just none of my clothes are. So um, now I am just kind of decompressing the day in the hostel. Um, then I'm going to go out and find some clothes, uh, maybe do some grocery shopping, um, and finish up my grading for my classes, because I think those are due tomorrow. Um, yeah, so that was my first crazy day in Sydney. Um, definitely, definitely an interesting trip. Uh, definitely a couple times where I almost cried. I was really cr close to crying, but I didn't cry, so that was kind of good. That's another good thing. I didn't cry. <laughs> um, really close a couple of times, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, so I'm here. I'm safe. I'm relatively happy. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go out and go shopping. <laughs> Alright. So this is the view from my room. Um, down there is the doors to the bathroom um, and out into the main living area where there's a kitchen so on and so forth. There's my neighbor's bed. Um, and this is, these are the more important parts. Oh look there's a Balto! He's a Balto! Look at him! Look at him shell. Let's try and get him on the other side. Look, he's a baltard. Oh. Okay, anyway, that was a major distraction. Um, so this is a view outside. I'm currently in Potts Point in Sydney. Um, it's a nice area. It's kind of like what I would call the Ballard of Sydney. Um, lots of places to eat, a um, little bit of shopping, um, and then the beach is pretty close by. So, yeah. Just wanted to show you guys where I'm at. Um, let you guys know that I'm safe and it's clean and I'm fine. Um, staying in a hostel isn't as scary as it sounds. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna try and upload more of these. Um, and yeah, all right, bye.